Hello everyone, Natalia with you and today we're gonna do some stitching. Here is this two little puppy. Looks like maybe he, they are in trouble or something. The look on the eyes, you know how we like to say what you looking at like puppy eyes? Well that's kind of like a puppy eyes. So I started last night uh, after we we came back came, ah, I'm tripping over my teeth. We came home from camping. We were just camping for the weekend this time just to see how was everything and then last night I started. So that's the threads I was using first. Number two. The threads are really really silky. Very nice looking. I can get some so I started, I wanted to test it out by myself first. So I stitch. Here's the little part of this yellow color. Okay, here and here. And these two spots took me one of this strand of six. Okay, so when you have 11 count Aida as this a canvas you have a six threads in here and I'm just talking right now to beginners you separate them on three and three so this three and three which is one full strand made me create this two spots um, so and I have in here I have to say it's a lots of lots of threads in here and they are like a good links good links if I could show you it's going it's going up there uh, some of them if I look like there's some shorter some longer I don't know they all cut not even um, I guess um, they calculated how much they needed so by looking at on this one it looks kind of crazy because usually when we receive canvas printed it would be like a one symbol in here and that's it in here is like a triple uh, triple of those symbols so it's a little bit making confusing in some points but the good thing is all canvas is marked by numbers so it's very easy to follow so we work in a number two each one was a number in here was written so you see now through that's what was saying number two but when we wash this canvas you're not gonna see it um, now I want you to see how beautiful the threads laying down to create those stitches I think it's beautiful it feels like it's very silky um, silky threads and they are even if they tangle sometimes in the back it's very easy to untangle so it's definitely I love I love these threads a lot so now the only thing we will find out if we have enough of each thread and usually I stitch that like all the way almost to the end of the thread not much left over so I'm good on that to save my threads I see white one is here, only one. And one is brown one, one color. Rest of good amount colors. So let me um, set up, well, I think this is gonna be good angle camera. I just need to get comfortable to start. And I put on my little ring in here on this hoop and I'm working with the needle that was provided with this canvas when we unbox with you this canvas it was two needles and one of them was looks like was like a dirty on the inside or something I think that was just a stuck paint from the fabric because since I rinse under water and disappear so it's a two good needles in here and we're gonna continue with you to work maybe we even start on this um, I'll just continue this piece down so it's a nose puppy okay so if you like to start with me 
to stitch and see how the threads will work. Uh, we will do that. Um, and I want to try something actually before. Let me pull out. I'm just going to pull out thread like this. Put the other ones on the side. And to separate my threads, let me just do as I do without stopping video. I use my tweezers that was came with diamond painting. The cup was broken, so I'm using just from regular cup from marker, I think. Okay, but this is perfect to do like this. With my nails, it's really hard to separate threads. So what I do, I, I'm using my tweezers to get me amount of threads that I need. And I think that's it. Now we just have to make sure it's three up there and three up there. Okay. And then we're going to separate them. I'm gonna usually I'm holding like this put this side into the floor down so when I pull them they untangle nicely so I'm gonna do this off camera just behind you because this needs to be go like down on the ground so I can separate without tangling just give me a sec I'm still here okay and we're done okay one thread done the other one I'm just gonna put on the side somewhere in here so what I want to try with you I think I did this tutorial on one of my video if you don't have this needle threader you make sure your threads in here are very very even so we're gonna chop a tiny bit We're gonna squeeze this between our fingers like it's all up there see now I'm gonna get my needle and when we squeeze we put our needle on a thread you see that and your need and your threads already inside of your needle so again, you can just grab and pull it. I'm usually using my tweezers. Come on. Okay. Let me go and see. We got this from first time. When you do this with two threads, it's even much more easier but as you can see with three threads we managed to do this for the first time sometimes work sometimes don't work if it don't work you make this edges a little bit wet or even put some beeswax on it and it's very easy to thread that way all right and now I'm just gonna start as I usually start I'm gonna find my spot I didn't even set up the camera yet proper way. Hold on. I'm gonna just like this flip on the other side so I can see where I start and then I'm gonna wave I think that was the whole, let's double check with you, yeah, that's where we want to start, so I'm going to pull needle from here, and I'm just looking to get all the way down, without pulling my tail, that's it, and it's going to stay like this, 
and I finished the same way as well okay and now I'm gonna do my camera position a little bit better and I will be right back I think now we have a good position in here I'm try I will try not to kick okay so my first one I pull very gentle because it's not secure yet right and I'm just gonna roll this side a little bit to make it comfortable to hold it okay now we should work more comfortably I think I scooped the other where is the other threads did I scoop the yes I did I roll it I roll my other threads in here good thing I good thing I look okay We start thing up. Okay, now we should do okay. Okay, so since I have this on my hoop, we will do in two stitches. I mean, one by one, up and down, and I'm working with one hand only because I don't have a stand. So we'll try. This is gonna be a little bit more slow, but with the hoop, oh, sorry, with the hoop, I find that it's easy to shoot on camera. I'm still not convinced this is the best way what I'm doing right now. I have to stop and readjust maybe camera better then I will do that but for now I think you see but I'm just like it's camera staying in front of me so canvas a little bit more further so I can't peek through the magnifying glass it's kind of like far away from me so I don't know if I'm gonna readjust or not but look how evenly the threads laying down in a crisscross it's really looking good threads I actually really like this I don't like the idea to be honest that is no instruction no nothing with this canvas and let me remind you from my new viewers who maybe just started to follow me on this channel this is canvas from funcell.com and they specifically working on diamond paintings and recently they added a little bit of the cross stitching cross stitching just uh, not too many yet they just trying to bring more and I did suggest them to bring maybe like Joy Sunday type of canvases because Joy Sundays have lots of like have good instructions and everything uh, when you read on a website you can see what kind of canvas that is so this canvas came like with no instructions was nothing written on a website so I emailed them and I asked them to put on a website that this is 11 count ADA and need to be stitched in three threads because it wasn't nothing up there so they did that I really appreciate so when somebody new stitching friend who just wants to learn will receive this it would be very confusing so at least they will know now what kind of cloth to go with it and have to stitch and don't worry all those numbers will be washed out when you wash your canvas on the end of stitching so this cross stitching particularly very easy to do not only because it's 11 count Ada so it's a big kind of stitches I don't even need a magnifying glass nothing it's very easy to do um, also one more question I have been asked 
and I will answer right now the the number circle how to stitch this this is your main color and symbol for number 14 and we have them all in here on the bottom so I don't even gonna look on the bottom because almost I think it's every color in here marked with the number so when you work in a 14 you just keep stitching the same color over this number this is just circle in white to let you know easy like visually to see the number which one you need so like for example here 5 wherever you are using this pink color you stitching over number 5 as well so that's the same color as you stitching just the they mark with numbers to easy for you to find a symbol and threads DMC code so that's uh, very nice because with this one particularly because it was like marked in three times some some of them I was looking like hard was understand but then when I look in here I found a uh, pretty easy so this is the symbol I needed so this one uh, it's kind of like have a little bit downfall and and something good so um, for now I just need to see if I will have enough threads to finish and how many uh, will be left over when we done because I never have any cross stitching with this kind of uh, company who create this cross stitching so I hope they will bring some more and I see there's more and more picture is coming to the store and I want to inform you that I ordered two more cross stitching when they will come I don't know usually I order and I just like forget about it till it's get here so I never kind of pay attention how fast come here no idea also I want to let you know that we talk about cross stitching but since it's together with diamond painting you know we have lots of diamond painting on this channel as well and since this company have both diamond painting custom I have been asked this question so many times where is the best place to order um, and I explain because uh, when people watching my diamond painting video a custom picture that I have some of there that I show you how to create your own and then also there was a picture that was created for me of me uh, my portrait and well I don't know their email probably somewhere on um, Instagram they they are on Instagram and I don't know if they still going or not should be but the uh, fun sale also have diamond painting that you can order by custom so yesterday I did that custom picture so if you are looking for to create a custom pictures you might want to wait and, and see how my picture will look like so you or save money or you decide to go ahead and order later if you see the full details review in my unboxing when we when that diamond painting will get here so I just want to give you a heads up if you are looking for a custom picture maybe you want to wait a little bit uh, I believe they do only in round drills for now diamond painting um, I give suggestion to the company that they should bring more square diamond paintings if it's in a good quality drills so they will talk to manufacturers wherever they order from 
So we'll see. So th that's what I want to point it out. If you are planning to order somewhere custom painting and you don't know where, wait till I get my so you can see if you will like it or not. I'm nervous <laughs> for that as well. And hopefully, <laughs> if that would be my choice to choose in round drills or square, I would choose square because it's a full coverage. But I know that Fonso has awesome, awesome drills in round drills. Even it would be probably on one of my pictures would be lots of black color as well. But I don't worry about that because their blacks or drills, round drills are very good square one sometimes different but they order like from different manufacturer i think so i don't know have the work up there but definitely i'm looking forward to see photo so i can show you if it's a good or not to order up there let me just check okay just want to make sure i didn't uh, tingle up See, like I'm holding my finger all the time on this place when I'm stitching. Let me show you. For example, if we go here down, okay, just a minute. If we go down, even I'm holding my see, this is thread will go. I'm holding my finger in here. Did I put from one side? Oh, no, 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 hold on. Let me come out from here okay like this so now when I pull out I'm holding my finger on the top of the thread in here so when I pull I can feel it with my fingers if it's tied or not or not because sometimes it could tangle up so it's a very really good tool it's kind of secure under so that's just wanted to show you what I'm doing yes and I'm like on the edge of my table desk working here so please comment in here if um, you like this position of the camera or not this one is 11a so it's easy to work for me without even um, having a look in it through the magnifying glass which is great And I'm just wake up. My eyes still sleepy. But I want to shoot video first quickly because in one hour I will be go to work. I need to cut some bushes for the client. So I thought, okay, we are switching our job to one hour later. So I have a chance actually record video first so we did our camping first weekend we can't stay longer yet because kids still have a school not finished yet school so almost all campers who have kids left after dinner yesterday from campground and we'll be back at the end of the week, I guess. Very nice community. Everybody very friendly. Lots of puppies. Oh, my buddy. My puppy buddy. He found friend next door to us, like behind our trailer. There is a... Um, okay, if I can remember right. Australian... Uh, Australian... Shepherd, the puppy who has two different eyes, and she is in heat, so she is escaping to body, and she's trying to come to body. They on a leash. All dogs are supposed to be on a leash. Sometimes. Uh, we let Buddy out, but make sure he stay in our property. Like at home, he never really on a leash. He running 
freely. So now at the campground, he needs to learn how to be in a leash more often. So the girl, Australian Shepherd, she escaped enough her leash and come play to body. And we are afraid to become a family. <laughs> I say, you better watch out for your girl if you don't want to accident and have a mix puppies different breeds <laughs> so that was cute so they just like laying and staring on each other from under the trailer because trailers stay high and the blocks as our level a little bit like ground not straight so to level up our trailer staying on the wooden blocks and cement blocks so it's kind of higher a little bit to keep a level so puppy all alone just staring on each other. So that was cute. We teasing puppy that he found girlfriend on a campground. Oh, so cute. And me, I was on a beach looking for shiny special rocks. I found some old fossils. Oh, one day I have to just to take a video all about rocks. But I will post that video on my Detecting Beauty channel cute cute and I this is my favorite thing to do just to look for some pretty rocks which is we're not allowed on a beach yet the only people allowed who go like with canoe or boat so when they go through the beach and go right in the water that way kind of well um, you can do that but if you want to go and just sit on the beach you can't do that yet or walk on the beach but some people still walk in, so I'm just like, when nobody there, I go and just sit down on a rocky beach. It feels like they just brought those rocks up there to make a rocky, because when you look in the later on the water, it feels like it's a sand later on. So just from beginning, they put rocks maybe to stop waves go and take a sand out because when it's windy waves can go high especially in the winter but it is a beautiful place very friendly everybody oh it, we have fun i don't know i might talk too much now about camping if you don't want to hear it please let me know and i will shut up Can you see good? Is that close enough? I don't know. Oops. One in here. So what else I will say? Yeah, it's kind of campground doesn't have a Wi-Fi yet. It will be there in July sometimes they say. So for now, I can't really upload any video from there. But good thing that we were there like just for a few days. So I'm gonna try my best to record as many videos as possible and pre-schedule them so you have more to watch when I'm not home hopefully that will work because I just figure out there is not, not much not many hours I will be doing crafts up there because you want to be more outdoor play some games with kids and then Catherine like to go for a walk with puppy around the campground so we're doing that 
it's not very big campground but it's just beautiful you walk in and you're hearing those waves up the lake huge huge lake and I think in the future I'm gonna create some more videos on a lake when it's gonna be allowed to swim water still cold now but when it's, uh, when it's allowed to swim uh, I'm gonna bring my snorkeling mask we're gonna go under the water with you look for some treasures maybe we will find something interesting what people lost we can find an owner it's fun to do That would be a different story. And now we're doing a cross stitch. And so what do you think so far? I think even with three threads, this particular threads going so nice and smoothly on the top of each other. I don't see any threads like sometimes sticking out. So I'm really happy so far. My first review I'm pleased for now and I just wanted purposely to test it out first by myself just to show you I just wanted to see how much I can finish an 11 Ada with one string of threads and I wanted to see how threads will layer and I was really happy I don't know why I started with number two I guess because it's a kind of big patches so it's good to do cross stitching without changing um, well, cut too often threads and switch position that would be a little bit annoying on a video I think especially the way my camera position is just not comfortable so I'm looking for spots that has big but basically all this canvas it's a big patches so it will be very nice and easy to create lots of videos of this one if you want to see more videos of this puppy let me know only I was working in a trailer I was doing diamond painting uh, two I don't know one night like an evening and a little bit during the day yesterday um, we were watching movie with kids Ice Age old movie and I don't know how many times we watched this movie before it's always fun to watch so they were watching on DVD movie and I was diamond painting next to them so we had fun together so I was working on my piglet and a rooster from Moana movie looks looks good so far I just need like one day and I will finish that canvas very fast so I think I will create with you one more time video okay so here now I'm kind of finishing here in the middle and I need to kind of start somewhere so I'm just gonna go this point the, um, from the center because I finish oh no 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 I need to Oh, sorry I thought I already make those crosses in here I just make it one line so no I'm on a good path I almost made mistakes see because I'm talking I need to go back now so I will be starting in the right position again Ooh, almost made mistake all right it could happen ay, ay, ay. I thought I'm gonna have a peaceful moment to do my cross stitching and I think now you will hear there's 
somebody outside cotton grass so one more we're making a lots of noises now my apology for that and if I stop my video now to wait till it's quiet I'm not gonna have time to finish video so I guess we're just gonna continue I I feel so not comfortable now please forgive that people unless it will get very loud I think it's the neighbors next door usually in here see like one one left so usually I go from here down but when it's left one and I have to continue go this way I go from down to here that way I have a short passage to start my new stitch so that's what I'm trying to find a hole in here where is okay here see so I'm gonna go this way and then when I go here and start my new row that way and at this side I will have very short passage to go so that's what basically I'm just like trying to figure out where to go what to do so the shortest passage the better because then you're gonna have a back and nice as well So if you like this puppy cross stitching, so far what I can say, I I can recommend. You just have to prepare that you're not gonna have uh, extra instructions, but you don't really need instructions. Just watch my video. All you have to do is stitch with the three threads at once. And it's a nice, nice full coverage. See how beautiful the stitches layering. I really like it. When I was doing actually my stitching in, um, well, I, I don't know yet if it's a old threads like this. Let's just not run f too much forward. But when I was stitching in jo uh, Sunday the winter skin uh, uh, some of the threads were fluffing up when I was stitching uh, I think it's only like two colors up there different quality I guess got in the mix so I just really hope that all of these threads they look the same so hopefully we're gonna have this beautiful smooth stitching through the whole canvas and also yes it's a partial canvas because all this white that's in here you don't stitch you just stitch color if you wish stitch white you can but you don't really need it um, when you wash this blue squares will wash out and yeah it will be kind of you will see the holes through but when your picture will be hanging somewhere far on the wall you don't gonna see really much so that's it's up to you if you wanna stitch there or not but it's designed not to stitch it's just your preference what you wanna do so it is partial cross stitching
think we, we started with this one thread from where? Somewhere in here. So we already did quite a bit and I still have a good amount of threads for a couple more lines. So we're just gonna finish this line. Not line, this, this thread that I have in here. And then I will try quickly upload for you. And I, when I come back from the job, I will do my best to record a couple videos of diamond painting. And we're gonna finish that piglet sometime. I still cannot remember his name, the piglet keeps slipping through my ears. Sometimes you can find a hole. <laughs> Maybe one day I will invest money in some good frame. Two of them that I tried from Michaels did not work for me. And to buy online, see like I don't really like to buy this kind of stuff online because I need to touch it, I need to see first I need to see if this wood like or plastic whatever the frame is if it's sturdy enough you can't do this from the picture that's why I'm kind of waiting there's store in here that I never been before craft store in a city near me looks like it's all about up there stitching and maybe fabric I don't know so I would love to check the store when it's open and see what's in it. I never knew about the store before till it's pop in my kind of like a advertisement because I was looking stores online if anything nearby and all of a sudden pop is like wow all these years I did not know that store exists just next city from me so I can go and check maybe some good uh, some cross stitching up there I don't know maybe some good accessories that I can use definitely will check that later When you work with the hoop cross stitching, your stitches layering much better than you would hold in your hands. Because when you hold in the hands, your canvas is not stretched. And in some points you can pull it harder than you should. And your stitches kind of look bulky in some points or loose maybe threads. This way, it's better for the quality of stitching, but not for speed, definitely. If you want a speedy finish faster, I would recommend to hold it in hands and stitch in two, in two ways at once, as I did my poppy flowers. As soon as I take that canvas from the frame, I start to do some progress much faster because now it's more comfortable for me and that canvas was too too canvas was too small for this hoop 
not wide enough to lock it. This one go with a little bit extension on each side, so it's good to lock in fabric in it. The other one was sides was hanging and it just didn't make a sense. My cat was really angry. We left him behind. It's only for one day because we we came one day back uh, to get a few more things from home because we camp in very close. It's like half an hour maybe drive. And he was hiding. Didn't want it to come, but then when he come, mau mau, start talking to me. He wants to be pet, so I don't know if we're gonna try one week and take him with us because the trailer door is always locked, the screen door, so hopefully he's not gonna escape, but at least he will feel comfortable not to be alone at home, I don't know, maybe we will try one, one week to bring him with us. Or oh, maybe not, it's a litter and everything. Hmm. No, I think I think we're all gonna pass on that. He will be fine. We are home very often. We're not going like staying at the park and not coming home. We're in and out, so it's like a few days there, a few days here. thread getting short but we are gonna be short to finish this little spot that is left I think definitely not gonna be enough thread to to finish all this but I just wanna purposely Okay, I'm gonna go again on this opposite corner first to go close to the part that I need to go. Just make sure when you stitch and if you are a new cross stitcher, make sure all your lines line up in same direction. So if my first line line up always from left to the right, my second one close from well from left to the right from top to the bottom and then from top to the bottom kind of go again from left to right I guess it's always from left to right I don't know first go this way and second one this way that way you stitch and gonna look nice and even doing good a little bit more left I really enjoying I really do oh, don't lose the little tail now it's getting short
when the thread short like this that way kind of would be easy to do when you have enough frame to go one hand picking it from the bottom another one from the top work with two hands but as I need to hold it with one hand frame doesn't work for me but that's okay we will do slowly sometimes with thread crawling up I'm just like I'm crawling the other opposite way because when threads um, twisted you will see kind of like not even uh, you will see that it's twisted thread and uh, your stitch will be look different so if you happen to be it's twisted just untwist the first before you make in your stitch as I say I'm making my stitch to the point that I can't stitch anymore so I don't have too much waste to be honest very very little because I like to work to the end till I basically can't even catch anymore when I see somebody with cut thread much longer I'm just like oh my god you girl can do maybe like five more stitches with that thread and you already wasting it but you know everybody doing their own liking and that's why sometimes they say they've run out of threads and then didn't have enough well maybe maybe because some of you wasting too much you have to do okay where is that hole you have to do work with your working thread as much as possible I think I can go at least to the end of this stitches that we made hopefully what did I do here? I'm just gonna even up my threads a little bit. okay so now it's if for real I would make another stitch in here but for the sake of video well it's a not very long thread left in here and I'm just gonna be waving let me just grab a more comfortable okay not comfortable on the camera at all I go a little bit like under the fabric itself and under the thread maybe one more just like this pull my needle okay and let go and let go okay now we're gonna snap here very short And we are done for now okay so we start to see some nose and here is close stitches they look pretty good I think I think this threads I really like how they layer if there's some crooked that that would be my fault but in general look how they evenly layer so I really really like these threads and if I look like this close they all look the same so hopefully we will have same outcome beautiful very nice colors blend together so that should be beautiful but I like this color so vibrant all right I will finish on this note We'll try to upload quickly video to YouTube so you can watch and let me know if you still like to watch more of this cross stitching because there's a uh, lots of work in here still.
well, rather, no, let's zoom out to the maximum. But we're gonna start on one puppy, and I will do by the color or maybe by the circle. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna finish whatever colors in here and then move on. Usually, if I would do in my hands, I would do number two everywhere I see. Same as diamond painting, to work by the color. But right now, so I don't have to switch all the time, I'm just gonna fill in whatever is in here. Okay, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe if you're not subscriber yet. I see you in my next video.